Hi everyone, welcome to Chef Travels. I'm Kevin Harrington and today I'm going to show you how to make an authentic traditional Thai green curry. These ingredients I'm going to be using, uh, some, these are baby eggplants believe it or not, some carrots, some bell peppers sliced and some baby corn. So very simply, cut the ends off, cut them into quarters, like so, and put them into water. That way they stay nice and white and they don't go all black. So with all my vegetables ready prepared, roughly cut, um, I've also got my chicken, diced chicken, and my baby eggplant. So basically all I'm going to do, get a pan on, a little bit of oil in it, let that heat up a little bit, and what I'm going to put, two tablespoons of green curry paste. What? Two tablespoons, average, approximately, bulk, dry, green curry paste. Add a little bit of water with it, just plain water. Just let that paste mix in with the water. Comes a nice little piece. And there you have it. And then in with the chicken. Give that a little stir. So turn the heat down a little bit and give it a little stir. And as you can see, that is starting to look like a Thai green curry oil. Next thing I'm going to do is add my coconut milk. This is 100% coconut milk. And that goes in there like that. Give that a little stir. Bring it back up to the heat a little bit. Just let that all cook in. The fragrance, the flavours coming off of that are out of this world. Oh, bring on smell vision and I'll give you a little sample. And that is already taken shape. Um, it's starting to look like what a Thai green curry should look like and also taste like. It's actually more like a soup, it's not um, a thick curry like the Indian curries. So at this stage I'm going to put all the little vegetables in. Put them all in there. I'm also going to put a bit of fish oil in there. Give that a little stir. Let all that mix in. This is an authentic Thai green curry, as authentic as you will get it, um, made with authentic Thai spices. So there you have it, Thai green curry coming along nicely. Let that cook out just a little bit. Add a little bit of water. Not too much, you don't want it watered down. Next thing's next is I'm going to put my uh, baby eggplants in without the water. Again, I haven't seasoned this because these little babies have been soaking in um, they have been soaking in salt and water, so they're going to be quite salty anyway. Get them in there, give them a little stir. And what we're going to do now is let those vegetables cook out and let that sauce reduce just a little bit. So that's bubbling away nicely and what I'm going to do now is add, believe it or not, some sugar. And not just any sugar, you don't want to be using cast sugar or anything like that because it's just a completely different flavour. You want to try and go to your oriental shop and get some of this like Thai sugar, it's like a syrup. Um, but it, it makes all the difference. 
Without this, I really wouldn't bother making a Thai green curry because it just wouldn't be the same. It's where the sweetness in the curry comes from, but it's not a castor sugar sweetness. It's, I don't even know how they make this sugar, but it is a Thai sugar, uh, and that's what you need to use, basically. You have to substitute it with normal sugar, and so be it, but it's not going to be the same. The next thing I'm going to do is add some chopped up red chilies. Um, this is again optional and depending on how hot you want it, it uh, depends on how much you want to put in. So basically, they go in there like that. Do a bit of a That's quite suffice for me. I like it hot but not unbearably hot. So they all go in there like that. What did I say? We'll let that soften up just a little bit. Let it cook out just a little bit because those egg blobs do take a bit of time to cook out. Turn the gas down a little bit. A little sample, just to make sure it's all coming on nice. That is hot. <laughs> Besides that, that is the best Thai green curry I have ever tasted. You may think I'm beating my own drum here, but I'm being 100% truthfully honest with you. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So that's simmering away, I went for a little bit there. I'm gonna let it thicken up just a little bit because it's still a bit thick. Um, what I'm gonna do is put some of these leaves in. Now you don't chop these very much. Just basically break them up and put them in Some leaves, some mint, and that's pretty much about it. And a little bit of basil as well. I think I have overdone it a little bit with the chilies in mine, but it's only me eating it, and I like it hot, so it doesn't matter. Absolutely gorgeous, fantastic. I'm just going to turn that up just a little bit, just to let it cook out properly. But basically speaking, that is pretty much the way it's done. So there you have it. Thai green curry at its best, cooked in Thailand, and I'm very proud of that dish. So. Thai green curry a la Chef's Travels, Kevin Harrington. This is one of my favorite dishes and I'm eating it in one of my favorite places. So to be honest with you, I can quite categorically say that this is one of my favorite moments. Um, so chicken, Thai green chicken curry and um, Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah. Wow. Phenomenal. Um, delicious. Out of this world. Now what? I ain't gonna beat, I'm not gonna beat my own drum. If I tell you that this is definitely the best Thai green curry I have ever tasted in my life, I'm not lying. And cheers to Thailand, cheers to Thai green curry. This is absolutely delightful. Mm. Oh my God. Chef's Travels, Kevin Harrington, thank you very much for watching. I'm a little bit busy now, so I'll see you on the next mission.